broken inside of a relationship. That's the topic we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook. Get rid of your problems, not your partner. Now, I wanted to talk on this topic because it seems to be a very hot topic. And usually it's a topic that's usually surrounded by women. And that's kind of what the world looks at as when they think of broken, they think of it as women because men can solve their problems. Men are strong and they can handle all the different obstacles. BS. You guys know I talked about that before, calling them rules, which are BS rules. Guys are human beings just like women. The challenge is we're in a culture that makes men believe or, or try to ingrain in them that they're not supposed to feel anything. Um, and any challenge that comes to them, they're, they're strong enough to withhold it. I even laugh. I, I, I talk all the time and think about, um, you know, because people talk about, yeah, because the man, he's the, he's the protector and all. I'm going to let y'all in on something. Majority. And when I say majority, I mean majority. It's probably 80, 90 percent of guys don't want to get into any kind of physical battles, fighting. Yes, that's true. Uh, we kind of make it sound like, man, yeah, he's, you know, that's just men, you know, because we I'm telling you, the only time majority of guys and this is probably even higher than definitely in the 90s of guys that will fight anyone. It's very few guys. Most guys, if they do get in a fight, it's because they believe they can beat the other person or they wouldn't get in a fight. They will walk away. But yet and still, we try to make it sound like men are like the kings of the jungle and all they do is they go out and they're just out there to protect and, and they're ready to take on any. No, they're not. They not. They will try to avoid most, that's majority of guys. They will avoid most conflicts, most confrontations from a physical perspective, unless they think they can beat the other guy. Yeah, I know it's something that the world doesn't talk about or we're not supposed to maybe bring up. It's real. Most guys are not going to get into a battle unless they believe they can win. Now, there's certain battles, because you guys know I've talked about before, that to me, when we talk about the man of the house, it's in those particular instances, if the family is being challenged from a mental or physical perspective and someone's coming towards you, I don't care if you're scared at that point. You got to go through me to get to my family. That's when you got to step up no matter what. That to me, that's when you prove your manhood from the perspective of, Hey, I may lose this one, but you ain't getting to my family. That's the time you definitely better step up and prove that. I've had instances, uh, not me personally, but some of the stories that, that you hear, which again lets you know kind of what I'm talking about. Someone was sharing with me that, um, and this, this guy is supposedly, I think, a pastor. And they did a surprise birthday party for him. And I guess they got to the house and they heard voices in the house because they were doing a surprise party. He didn't know that, but, and rumor has it, he pushed his wife in the house and he ran down the street. Now, I, first off, why would you push your wife in there if you heard voices and you think there's some people in there? I mean, <laughs> just, every time I think, I just go, that's wild. Because that, again, is kind of what I'm talking about. Those that believe that, like, he was going to run in the house and be like, honey, you step back. I, I'm telling you, majority of guys are not going to. Now, I'm hoping majority of guys aren't going to push their wife into the house. But majority of the guys are not going to walk in that house. They're going to figure out a different way that we can get this issue addressed and be like, wait, wait, honey, step back. You know, they looking in windows and trying to look and see whatever. They're not going to just run it, run up in there and go, oh, no, hey, whatever's going on, let's do this. There are a few. There's some guys out there that they, they'll take on the world. 
Those are the ones I told you guys in the boxing ring that they have to have an official in there because you'd have to kill them in order for them to stop because they're that determined. But that's that's rare breed. That's not men as the world keeps trying to paint this picture. It's not. They're like most people. They don't want that kind of physical confrontation. But anyway, I kind of got off topic there. But I guess what I the reason that I did get on that is because to help get past this myth of trying to paint this picture of men as these 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 um, big vicious you know protectors and and they have no emotions and they can handle everything they're human beings they're human beings they have doubts they they have fears they, and, and you know, well, you know, I talk about fears are just the stories that we write. But the bottom line is, there are things that 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 intimidate them, and they don't want to face. And we have to be in a society that allows men to be men. In other words, to be a human being without the tag. So if he's in a position where he's broken for whatever reason. And and well and, and we're starting to hear more and more guys that come out and will tell you that they were in a marriage and they got hurt. I remember I was at an event and that's one of the things that the guy said. He he stood up. It was a event. It's why am I still single? Something like that. But anyway, it was a room full of women and a couple of guys up on, on the panel. And one of the guys stood up and he said, ladies, he said, um, I know this goes against what you've been told, but men, we have feelings. And he said, and this was what happened was the young lady that he grew up with, um, childhood sweetheart, and they got married and she, she, she left. And not only did she leave, he said, she took everything. He said he had, he, he was blown away that, you know, when they, they did supposedly the dividing of the property and stuff that she, he didn't fight her, but she, she took everything. She just kind of wiped him clean. And it was like, he never would think that someone that he has known his entire life and he's been married to for years and he was totally committed, thought she was totally committed, would one cheat and leave but try to bury him and leave him with nothing in the process. And he made the comment. He said, ladies, I'm going to tell you now, I have trust issues, which was the first thing I was going to talk about when I talk, when I was talking about one of the ways, you know, if somebody's broken, trust issues, betrayal, people get hurt and um, they don't trust anymore. And again, I, what I'm going to do is on Monday, um, on Self Love Monday, and that's right, I'm pushing you guys to come to Self Love Monday. Um, I'm going to talk about how to address some of the, the issues that we're talking about here today, um, because I think that would be the best topics for Self Love Monday is, so what do we do? But today is going to be kind of how you can see some of the signs and one of those would be the trust issues, a person that, that, that's that been burned in the past, um, at least they're, from their perspective, they've been portrayed. What they'll do is they link up in their minds that to get close to someone equals pain. And you guys know we've talked about that before. And so because of that, they're going to keep any new relationship at a distance. Um, they're not going to give everything that they have. I talk about that. And that's why you guys again hear me saying you got to get you together first because male or female. If you're broken. And you don't get you cleaned up first. Your relationship is. It's, it's, it's going to be a tough relationship. Hopefully you guys can fight through it, but that's exactly what you're going to be doing. You're going to fight through it because someone's broken or both people are broken because that's usually what ends up happening. Um, 
because you usually have that person that's you got the broken person, but then you got the person that, that they want to spend their life trying to heal. And but they got their own issues, too. But that's kind of how they address their issues. It's by putting all their energy into someone else so that they don't have to face their own short, their own um, challenges. Um, and again, we talk about that at a different time, but I'll talk about again how to address some of these on Monday. But the trust issues is major. And when the gentleman got up and shared that at the event, I was just like, that takes a lot of courage for a guy to stand up in a room full of women and say, I got trust issues because, you know, and, it, and he was a nice looking guy. And I guarantee you, there was a whole bunch of women in there was sitting there thinking when he was on the panel, like, <laughs> maybe I'll change him from 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 being single after this event's over. I don't know how they responded or thought about him afterwards, but he lets you know he has some trust issues. Now, those are things that he has to go get addressed because if you are a woman that was in that crowd and you believed you were going to be the one to heal him, not saying you can't, but you're walking into a very dangerous situation. And again, as we said before, a huge fight and a huge battle. And you better be equipped yourself. All right, that's one that you shouldn't step into. That's when we talk about red flags. And he lets you know, I got a huge red flag. And if you're willing to go through that with him, that's a choice you get to make. But as I've said um, last week, when I did the thing that said, don't ignore the red flags, don't ignore it. If you see it and you walk into it, understand what you walked into and don't later come back and go, I can't believe. No, you can believe it because you knew the red flag was there and you chose to walk through and, and play in that relationship anyway. Now, there also another cue is as a person that's always seeking love and affection. It's like it's no matter what you do, you can tell them all day how much you care. You can take them places, you can buy them things, you just, you're showing affection all the time. And they still seem like they just can't get enough. That's the person that wants to call you all the time. They want to text you all the time. Um, I know some people like that and they don't even realize that they're broken. They just think, oh, that's so cute. I love to talk to him and he loves. Him. No, that's issues. When you're all the time feeling like you need to be communicate. That's 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 something you have. And again, we could talk about that on Monday. That's something you have to address. They also another key is they're also looking for validation. They're also they're always looking for how do I look? How you like this? And some of you know <laughs> that might have hit real hard there. It's like, how you like this hat? How you like this, 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 this blouse? Did you notice that, you know, what did I do? You know, as far as my appearance, did you notice anything different? Always. We used to call it fishing when we were younger. Uh, me and my buddies, when, when, when somebody says, so how I look or whatever, we used to call it fishing. We go all going fishing, huh? We said, you just looking, you're, you're, you're fishing for compliments. That's kind of what's going on. They're always looking to be validated. Um, another sign. Moody, you know those people. Hopefully, none of you just listen. <laughs> if you are, you address this. But they're the people that, one moment we're laughing, we're cracking jokes, we're having fun, and in the next moment, it's like they make the whole room go cold. Everybody's like, "Whoa, what just happened?" It's like. Or if you as their partner, you just like, okay, I, I, I'm leaving. I'm gone. I, I'm out of here. Because the mood went from joy to, ooh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be. And, and the reason that that kind of, for me, is tough because to deal with people like that is because you have to spend a few moments with them 
And I'm talking about the ones that aren't seeking help. Because, again, like I said before, people are who they are. You accept them as they are. To me, that's what love is. So I can accept you as you are. And because people that I know that, and I know some people like that, because they're in my life, I have to, you know, approach them and kind of spend a few seconds with them to kind of see what kind of mood they are in their playful mood or they in one of their attitude, which we know, just like I said, they can switch on you in a heartbeat. But at least as I'm starting off, where are they at? Let's let's see what kind of mood they are. But the man, they can change on you in a heartbeat. Um, they also have a tendency to take things personal. That's another cue. Um, they're not going to get into too many conflicts. They're going to try to avoid conflicts, avoid confrontation. Um, because if things come up and you say anything that they consider to be negative, it's another attack. And it makes them feel even worse about themselves. And their steam is already low. And all you're doing is adding fuel to that fire. Um, so they will try to avoid that. Um, and so those are kind of some of the tips that um, I wanted to share. To, and, and, and like I said, Monday, we'll go into kind of what you can actually do to maybe address those if you're a person that's in these particular situations. Um, I believe all situations you could actually go through if you're willing to be honest with yourself. Um, but in some cases... You know, um, people aren't willing to be honest and have that conversation. And you may need to bring in that third party um, to, to I'm talking about if it's a couple. Um, if you personally may just need to go get help. And this is and it's, this is really directed at those guys that 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 are buying into all this male stuff that I started off with. You're buying into all that garbage. Um, man, if you need if you need help, go get help. If you don't have that partner that you can go to. Um, go get the help. Get you cleaned up. And you guys know I keep saying that all the time. Clean you up first. Um, don't walk into a relationship broken. It's, it's, it's not fair to you. It's not fair to your partner. And if you're already in the relationship and you know you're broken, get the help. Seek the help. So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you that we talk on Relationship Thursday, I'll talk to you guys next Thursday. And for those of you who we talk on Self Love Monday, I'll talk to you on Monday. And I'm expecting to hear all you guys to be there on uh, next Monday so you can find out how to address this particular issue and then tell others to come in and check it out also. Uh, make sure you always give me feedback. As you guys know, I've said before, it's easy to track me. I have so much on social media. You, if you just type in, matter of fact, um, my site, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Gives you every social media, every everything that I have. I always tell people, if you can't catch up with me, it's because you're not trying. And um, because if you go there, that's the easy way. And, and speaking of that, I also have three video series I just released. And you can also get a hold of those on that particular site. Um, right now, I have a special going where pretty much you can get all three for what it would uh, cost for one. So run over there. Take advantage of that. The information is incredible. Um, and I just know that it'll, it'll, it'll add impact to your life. So again, you guys know if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.